Hey everybody, wanna wisdom here. It is what is today? Friday, I guess now it's technically Thursday night. It's May 9th. It's 4.22 a.m. Uh, a little later than I planned. I had some stuff come up. Uh, of course, NFL draft was earlier. Had to take that in. Uh, even though the first round is always drug out for quite some time. That said, where we left off, I've got uh, Slobber Tooth. Uh, standard slobber tooth that is fully upgraded took him down the food fighter path uh, nothing too flashy there but I am kind of thinking uh, that one might turn out to be like the most uh, beneficial if you will uh, it's kind of you know hard to say without having taken the other path just yet but uh, just to update you snot rocket um, that uh, it's I, I never really saw a critical number with that one to date, but uh, they take eight damage. It seemed to be six times. Uh, om nom nom. This was the big one. Uh, standard. Uh, once you get the base upgrades, anyway. Uh, when you swallow the enemy, you get plus 35 health. Om nom nom. You basically get plus 70. Uh, and then feast. Uh, that one kind of just when you hold it down, it'll pull them into you. So uh, really not a lot there, but he's very powerful as is. Uh, reason I took slobber tooth down the food fighter path is I have dark slobber tooth again dark slobber tooth uh, he's only available in the dark edition starter pack which was available at GameStop again a lot of people knocked that when it came out I never really understood why I thought it was a pretty cool concept uh, you kinda get some uh, special characters if you will and in the case of slobber tooth uh, where some of you you know if you turn out to really like him or think both paths are good you have to go buy another standard slobber tooth you know exact same character uh, Dark Slobber Tooth, obviously a little different, so kind of cool deal there. What I'm going to do, since he is special, uh, I'm in my old creaking chair, if you did not know. But I'm already here in the power pod. I've got his stuff pretty well documented. I just feel like since he's a special character, I kind of feel obligated to go through and uh, take care of everything base upgrade-wise for you. So we're going to back out of here. Um... He does have a hat on again, people say I never wear hats. And I do sometimes, uh, even though they usually look really cheesy. Uh, his primary attack is Horn Swipe. Uh, 35 you can see there eventually, which I don't, there it was, 53, so that's your critical number. Uh, secondary attack, this one is interesting, Chomp and Chuck. Um, you're gonna, in this case, A button on the Wii U. Uh, grab enemies with a slobbery mouth attack, uh, press it again to spit them out. So you're gonna do 40 to 60 uh, when you, you know, come in and bite an enemy. Then of course if these were actually enemies, you know, you could hold them in your mouth, swallow them, things of that nature. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here. Again, you don't have to listen to Gorm, I took care of that for you. Unstoppable Force. Bear in mind everything that I buy here, we have got a full discount, 18 wing sapphires, 36% overall. What you need to fully upgrade a new lander is only 9,088, so we've got that covered. Uh, gonna go ahead, pick this up, uh, hold Y to charge a f charge forward a short distance with a powerful headbutt attack. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, kind of frino-ish there, if you will, but I mean, it makes sense given the orange structure on slobber tooth next up tough hide i love this stuff ssa it was kind of nice the way they did it being tied in with a path or the soul gym but uh when you get it in a base upgrade i can't really complain so tough hide for 448 gain bonus armor in this case plus 40 uh he's going from 30 to 70 uh skin is tough as nails and rocks mixed together so we'll go ahead and buy that he was doing there. I guess he had something in his teeth. Uh, Shockwave. This is his tertiary attack. It's actually kind of a cool attack and again it's what the entire seismic tail path is based on. So uh, press X to do a tail slam on the ground damaging all enemies nearby. Uh, this is kind of a weird deal. It has like what would look like a pretty broad impact on the ground but then it doesn't seem to get the enemies the full extent of the artwork on the ground if that makes any sense to you but nonetheless it's still pretty cool and functional 576 is the price again this is like a dream upgrade scenario because none of these really overlap 
and uh, you can just buy them all at once, so it's very efficient, if you will. Lugie, final base upgrade, 768 is the price. Press A after holding an enemy with a chomp attack to spit them out and deal increased damage. Now, uh, this is something that took me a while to kind of pick up on it, but uh, you see 15 all the time when you spit out an enemy. That seems to stay standard, but what doesn't is on, like, the big hit. Uh, right now, if we were just not to buy this, go into an arena challenge or level, uh, it's going to be 50, I believe. Let me double check that for you. Uh, 55 actually is what you're gonna see when you like have like an enemy collide into a wall or another enemy that's got you know nice uh, health situation going on. With Lugi, uh, that 55 becomes 75, so not a huge upgrade. I mean, in terms of damage, 20 points, but that is fairly significant. So. Oh, he's got a hole in his hat from the horn on the top of his head. I just now realized that. Anyway, uh, right here you get to the point where you're going to pick a path. If you don't know, simply back out with the new landers. You are going to be locked into a path. I know some of you get used to the Series 2s and 3 characters where you can switch if you don't like it or experiment and switch around. Not the case with the new landers, so be weary of that. Again, this is why I'm making these videos, hopefully to help you out. That said, it's a great time to mention that you need to take the link at the top the video description box it'll take you to a post dedicated solely to slobber tooth you'll see the upgrade videos base upgrades for slobber tooth and dark slobber tooth you'll see slobber tooth down the food fighter path you'll see dark slobber tooth down the seismic tail path and in addition to that i'll have my handy dandy spreadsheet complete with damage numbers if spreadsheet doesn't make sense to you stand alone uh watch the videos and it should make sense to you the way i word things and use my own special terminology that said, not going to select this. I'll save that for the uh, impending video. Uh, we'll come over here. First thing we will take a look at is Unstoppable Force. That's the charge attack. We're doing 35 to 53 with Horn Swipe. However, if we hold it down, 15, 15, and we missed on the final hit, which is the big one. 50. Um, what was the critical number on that one? 75, so 15, uh, 15 to 23 standard, 50 to 75 on the list. If you have to see those numbers, if you don't trust me for some reason, check out the base upgrades with Slobber Tooth. Again, it sometimes takes an eternity to get critical numbers. Since I know them and I've got them videoed, I don't feel obligated to do that for you. Uh, same thing with the armor. You'll just have to take my word. It's plus 40. I don't really want to go in and edit out the uh, Skylander code. Shockwave. Now, this is a big one for the simple fact Dark Slobber Tooth is going to take the Seismic Tail Path. Now, why did I pick that? For whatever reason, I tie in, you know, the Dark character with a kind of like more in your face, aggressive, if you will. And uh, in that case, Seismic Tail just seemed to fit that mold a little bit more than Food Fighter. Although I would not be surprised if, like I said, Food Fighter might not turn out to be the better path. I just think Seismic Tail, regardless of how you know, it pans out, it's going to suit Dark Slobber Tooth better, so it could actually be beastly, it could be a dud, I don't know, it just, the aggressive nature of it, uh, compared to Food Fighter, kinda just goes with the dark characters, in my opinion, so. You can see that radius there, I'm talking about, like, where the ground fractures. It looks really cool, you know, there's, like, the little shock wave that, you know, radiates out from the epicenter. Problem is, you know, there could be like a chompy at the edge of this and it wouldn't take damage. Uh, it's kind of a weird deal, yet it's still very functional. 40 to 60 is actually going to be our critical hit. Now, Lugi, I can't showcase to you here. I'll save that for later because it actually won't get upgraded at all down Seismic Tail. But uh, it, again, is where you come in, you eat the enemy, uh, you spit them out, and they're going to do the increased damage, basically the 55 on the hit to the 75. So um, That is that. That is Dark Slobber Tooth's base upgrades. Um, we hadn't dropped anything. We're doing great. Uh, that worked insanely well. Again, in a perfect world, um, you know, like when things are, you know, set in stone and simple, uh, all these videos would be roughly like 10 minutes. I don't intend for them to get insanely long. I have a couple issues. Number one, 
Uh, whoever did like the character development on these new landers and swappers, there's a ton of stuff that overlaps. Uh, a lot of it, you know, that necessitates that I like showcase one at a time, uh, which Slobbertooth is one of the first characters you could literally buy all four and still document everything. But uh, the overlap is an issue. The other thing, so many of the new characters have the stuff where, you know, like Frino. He's going to have numbers from a set attack, but if you charge it or heat it up in his case, it's going to have a different uh, damage output. It'll be increased. Several of them have that, which is cool. It just makes things more tedious. And then the biggest thing I've run into in terms of these videos going longer than I want them to, I have had times that it just takes an eternity to get a critical hit number. Uh, again, the cool thing here, uh, I get to save the time because I've already recorded it, and you can go back and watch Slobbertooth. But that said, this is Dark Slobbertooth's base upgrades. Again, pretty quick on this one. I'm fine with that. Uh, take the link. You'll see this as well as Slobbertooth. You'll see Food Fighter and Seismic Tail, which we're going to record next. So uh, with that said, I'm going to end that here. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Again, we were coming right back to fully upgrade Dark Slobbertooth. Going to treat him to the Seismic Tail path. Looking forward to seeing how it pans out, and uh, that will uh, basically accomplish... Uh, Full upgrades for my uh, two Earth Newlanders, of course, Earth Elements, my favorite. And again, this tied in with my Earth Day extravaganza, uh, which sadly my past week was insanely busy, and it's kind of taken me this long to get back to it. That said, uh, excited to see how it goes out. We're going to check that out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you back here in just a second.